can maybe Yeah, I'm losing the guide star here. I'm going off guiding. I'm going to grab another one. Then just control C on the... On the okay. Yep. Comets uh, relics. Can we just do one? No, don't, oh. From the time when our solar system, or the planets, formed. These are molecules that are necessary to make the ingredient of life. Yeah. Good, that's a good point. Yeah. But it looks like that there's consistently signal, right? So yeah. the study of comets is a study of uh, origins. The next opportunity will not be in the near future. Right, for, for the comets mm -hmm. with orbits that we know. Like, okay. okay. All right, so let's do a manual move and see. Go down minus 12. I mean, this comet is being observed by essentially people all over the world. Professional astronomers, amateur astronomers, and they work and interact together. Moving up 12. Six, Six I mean. Yeah. Uh, Can we get power here? The, the new detector will allow us to see um, about an order of magnitude fainter in, uh, objects in the sky. So basically, it's, it's, um, it's very sensitive. Um, it's the new um, Hawaii 2RG Teledyne chip, so it's got more pixels. Uh, the pixels are smaller and they're much more sensitive. So We're really excited about this new upgraded NearSpec because it's, it's an instrument that we know and love. It's been here for 20 years. It's one of our workhorse instruments that's been working in the infrared and has produced some, some of our best breakthroughs. But it was getting a little bit long in the tooth and so we decided to upgrade part of the optics on the inside, some of the detectors, and it's going to produce amazing gains in efficiency. Oh, the science that can be done with the upgraded uh, NearSpec is is not different from what we were able to do before because NERSPEC could do just about anything. Study the planets and moons and comets of the solar system to the highest, most distant redshift galaxies. They could do everything. Now it would do it better. Right, watch it in J. It's, it's very exciting because the target is scientifically very interesting. It's very close to Earth, 30 lunar distances. And it's, it's also bright. That's so funny. do you want to get Terry to update the... Yeah. Comet observing was one of the very first things that we did with NERSPEC way back in 1999, 2000. The reason it's so attractive for comets is that NERSPEC is what's called a spectrograph. It will become better when they get scared. It means that in the far infrared, where molecules uh, show their spectral features, we can see them. And so the comet hunters will be looking for water and other exotic materials in the comet right. uh, coma and, and the tail. And uh, a long wavelength infrared yeah, spectrometer like NERSPEC is ideal for that. Right, which we're going to fix. Yeah. So, because yeah. I'm really excited that NERSPEC is already in such high demand and will be able to be used for such a critical um, science mission and science goal of NASA and it's possible that we'll see exotic molecular species that have never been observed on a comet before and this is only possible because we upgraded yeah, NERSPEC. Yeah, We've done this before yeah, um, yeah. with um, seashell at our tip and old spectrometer yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not yeah. even on anymore and sometimes... What I see in the data I hope to see something that I don't expect and I don't hope that's part of science you know to find something new.